Hello everybody and welcome. This is History Dude and today we will be continuing our series of the history of battle with the fall of Babylon which occurred in 539 BCE. Now, after his conquest of Lydia in 546 BCE, as we discussed in the previous video, Cyrus, king of Persia, featured here, went on to confront the Babylonian king Nabonidus, featured here. Now, in 539, Cyrus invaded Babylonia, featured here, with, as an ancient text tells us, quote, massive troops whose number was immeasurable like the water of a river, end quote. At the city of Opus, east of the Tigris, Cyrus defeated a Babylonian army, plundering the city's wealth and massacring its people afterward. But this is only one version of the events written down in Babylonian Chronicle. This is Babylonian events. According to the text written in praise of Cyrus by the Persians, the, Persians ruler pro the Persian ruler's progress was peaceful and unopposed. His army, quote, marched with their arms at their sides, end quote, and entered Babylon, quote, without battle or fighting, end quote. The truth appears to be that Cyrus sent his general Gobrias ahead to besiege Babylon, and when the siege had succeeded, Gobrias, having had taken the city, made Nabonidus a prisoner, and Cyrus led a peaceful triumphal procession into Babylon, posing as a liberator of the city's inhabitants. And there was some justification to this posture because the people of Babylon, including its priests, had been unhappy under Nabonidus' rule. So the fall of Babylon can be thought of more of as a liberation than as a conquest, but there was a battle, um, according to the Babylonians at least, near the city of Opus. So that is why we include this video just in case. Because with history, you never know sometimes, but we get an idea. And we have an idea that there was a battle. There had to be some conflict. Nabonidus wasn't just going to give up his throne easily without a fight. So I'm sure there was some conflict. There's, there's some truth to that. As they said, the um, most likely situation is having Gobrias... Cyrus's general laying siege to Babylon, and after afterwards, um, he led a triumphal or Cyrus led a triumphal procession through his streets. He would have went straight through this street right here. And that is about it for the fall of Babylon. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, remember to have an awesome day.